Have you ever noticed that some people are just really good at finding sharks' teeth at the beach, and some people like me just miss them. So please welcome our guests, Victoria Feist and Lance Lovell. And Lance is actually an expert at this kind of thing. We'll let you know where Victoria <laughs> comes into this story in just a moment. But you've brought with you some really cool fossils. So with no further ado, why don't you just tell us a little bit about what's here and then we'll get to your big event. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks again, Eden, for having us on. I don't know about the expert part. I'll, I'll say an <laughs> I'll collector. Say, you're yeah, a collector. Amateur expert. So just a little bit of what I'd like to, uh, about 10 years ago, my daughter found some teeth on the beach and I said, I can't let a seven-year-old outdo me. So uh, really got into the hobby, started collecting. And about three years ago, I started to branch out to see what other kind of stuff you can find in the area. These are some mammal fossils uh, that I've found across the state while hunting. These right here are called glyptodon scoots. Scoots, uh, the glyptodon was a type of armadillo. It stood about four foot tall at its back. And these are the dermal plates that lined uh, the backside of their shell, kind of like the modern day armadillo. These right here are horse teeth, a uh, common find on the beaches and in rivers around the area. These are bovid teeth, which bovid are your, um, your buffalo, your bison, uh, modern day cow. This right here um, is a jaguar tooth, thanks to David Chelly for the uh, ID on that. He's quite an expert expert in the fossil community. So you you network with other fossil collectors absolutely, to, absolutely. to identify things. Now I want to get over to the shark's teeth because Mark, what would your boys do if they stumbled across? <laughs> so that's a like, megalodon tooth right that's there. That's insane. And my kids, they love sharks and dinosaurs. You have any of those teeth? I'd like to see those <laughs> two as well. Right. well. That basically is a dinosaur though, the megalodon. But it's so neat that you find these. And sometimes you say you find them by networking with other correct, correct. collectors. I'm going to bring Victoria in now and tell you what her role is. So here's what it is. Your father was an avid collector of yes. shark's teeth. And we're sorry for your loss. Yes. I know it's been he, less than a year. Yep. He left behind a couple of teeth. He did. He used to <laughs> um, hunt for shark's teeth at Fernandina Beach every morning after work because he worked the night shift. And he'd and come, come with all kinds of good when stuff. When I say a few teeth, <laughs> maybe about 100,000. And so you reached out to Lance. I did. And Lance has, while he's doing this, he can tell us what his plans are for these teeth. Tell everybody, Lance, what you're going to be doing with 100,000 <laughs> shark teeth. Wow. Right. Once uh, Vicki made the donation to me, which I was gr really grateful for, I contacted the city of Fernandina Beach, and they are sponsoring me to have a kids hunt for shark's teeth. Uh, this coming Saturday from 11 to 1.30, I'm going to be at Main Beach, uh, the gazebo on the boardwalk closest to Sandy Bottoms. I'm going to have 100,000 shark's teeth. Uh, my collection, I'm going to have that there as well. And at about uh, 1 o'clock, we're going to have a kids hunt. I've got some volunteers. We're going to seed the beach with teeth, and we're going to help kids uh, definitely find some teeth. Okay, so is it fair to say even I could probably find a tooth <laughs> that day? But Maybe. you're limiting Maybe. it to kids. It might be on the table, but yes, yes. you kids can find it. Kids so and family. I have to think, Victoria, that this makes you feel really happy. Abs absolutely. Um, I'll be honest with you. We posted it on Facebook. Does anyone need them? And when Lance reached out, and then he was generous enough to say that he was going to hold a hunt in my dad's honor, and I just thought it was um, really Awesome. That's, that's really nice. And I love how we're connecting kids to, yes. to learning about nature. And what is the name of the hunt? Uh, the name of the hunt is the Jeffrey Feist uh, Kid Shark Tooth Hunt. Um, what we wanted to do, since this was her dad's collection, we want to celebrate his memory by helping families make new memories. So that's all going to be a part of that. Um, I'd also like to thank the city of Fernandina Beach for making this possible. Of course, Vicki and all of my friends who volunteered from the group's Megalodon Maniacs, thanks to Yogle and also Florida Fossil Hunters. So just show up at Main Beach in Fernandina right. at what time? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Okay, there it is. Your marching order is right there in front of you. Thank you both <laughs> so very much. And we're going to send it over to Rance.